Montana's summer like a spot with a drive through on your way to the lake. Bruce and Clark said we had to stop for a bite at Patello's. This family-run business is an institution in the Northwest Burbs, and they've been serving up summer favorites for decades. Portello's means brothers in Italian, because my late husband and his brothers opened the restaurant in 1975. And you guys have been in this exact location. The original part of the building's the foyer. The rest of it is all new. What was the original menu? Hot dogs, beef, Italian sausage. So a nice traditional Chicago stuff. Exactly. The service is excellent. Sausage, a hot dog, and a fry. Thank you. Have a good day. The food is fantastic. The price is fantastic. I drive 45 minutes just to come get it. And the people that work here are like family. Thank you. And you and your daughters now run the place. Right. So what's it like working with your sister and your mom? We're a close family and it's just family fun. sister yeah. Bob stuff. Yeah. <laughs> We're an all-female owned restaurant. Well, that is very I rare. Know. I know. Power to the Did women. We, yeah, power to the women. You have so many summer favorites on your menu that we had to do two. Italian beef and the charred Polish on French. So we're gonna do the Polish first. Put a few slits in it. Maybe you should um, show me the technique okay. first. Yeah, we just put a... Oh yeah, that was much you, more gingerly yeah, than you, I was yeah, doing. Hold on. A little bit, yeah. So we put a line of mustard. And then a spoonful of relish, All and we right. just kind of spread that over the top. The onions, two tomatoes, like this. Oh, one. all right. Yeah, one here, one here. So Ooh. the pickle kind of goes in the middle there. Visually appealing. I do love peppers. I could pass on that oh. pickle. <laughs> Celery salt. Hey, that was quick and easy. But we're doing an Italian beef, too, because it's summer yes. favorites, and it wouldn't yes. be a Chicago summer without Italian beef. <laughs> Is that enough beef? Uh, no, we put a little more. A little than more. That. Being a little chintzy today. Up here. Then we put the mozzarella cheese just on the top. An Italian's favorite part of every sandwich, right there. And then it goes right in the toaster. Look at that piping hot beef. Look at it steaming. Watching this go through is so satisfying. That looks yep. delicious. Summer. All right. Yum. Thank Thanks you. for the help. Thank you. All right, Nikki, you're already leaps and bounds ahead because you guys have cheese sauce. It's my favorite thing in the world. It would probably be insulting to this Polish if I poured it all probably. over it. Probably. But you could. I won't do it. I won't do you it. You could dip it. <laughs> I might. I'm a dipper. What's best about it is it's got the Chicago style everything on the Polish. I love the peppers. There's enough on there that you get the pepper in even the first bite. They're just so good and they're not overpowering. They got a little sweetness, but just enough heat to make it delicious. And the bread's nice and oh. crisp, the French bread. And the Polish has such a nice crispy outside. The skin is so crisped out, but it's still so it nice is. and juicy on the inside. Char broiled, it's delicious. That can do no wrong. Hot dogs, Polish, sausage, pretty much anything on a link in my top three favorite yep. food groups. You know what else? A beef sandwich? This awesome beef sandwich. <laughs> The saltiness of the beef is so perfect with all that mozzarella and the peppers. It's just such a good compliment. It's what people want, it's what people expect, and we pay attention to everyone's needs, and the food is always consistent. Well, hey, cheers to there that. Is. Cheers to go. the future being female. Yes. This is a really good sandwich. Mm -hmm.